What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for video games monthly? Because you wouldn't believe it the way we've gotten behind. Hey, nerdlings. Cam Nelzer here. And you're watching everybody's favorite couple on YouTube, Do You Nerd? Welcome to Do You Nerd. I am Tom. I'm Lady Lacey. And we are going to take a look at uh, the three video games monthly boxes that we got behind on because convention season came like out of nowhere and we're super far behind on everything. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, let's jump right in here and see if we got any duplicates. Video Games Monthly is a monthly subscription service that sends you games that you get to keep. This isn't a rental thing. You don't have to send them back or anything. So you pick from one of their tiers of how many games that you would like to get. You pick out whichever consoles and handhelds you would love to get games for. And you populate a list so that hopefully they don't send you any duplicates. If anything happens, get in touch with them. Their customer service is awesome. Let's get right into this. Three boxes. Let's do it. Go. <laughs> February's box here. You know what? We, we got the Zelda game coming out of nowhere. You know, speaking of things that are creeping up on us. So and I tell a you console. What, we got three game or three boxes here. As we go through these games, we're going to decide, is this more of a, a Ganon, a power game, a Zelda, a wisdom game, or a Link, a courage game? Because I don't know. Why not? That's for all the uh, the tingles. Kaloomba, pop, pop. <laughs> Card saying populate your list. Look at this. What up? Nice. The gift this month is a slap bracelet with all the different oh, toads on one. it. Oh, this my apologies. <laughs> Way back in February. February. So let's let's see how it works. Please demonstrate. Ooh, so 80s, 90s. This is bit. actually really cute. Look at the wrapping paper. I do like that. I just like that it's a bunch of toads. Oh, on look, there. he's That's got a great. space suit on. Oh, is that he? He's riding a snail. So cute. Love it. Hey, anybody seen the Super Mario Brothers movie? What did you think of the Toad Town, by the way? Just real quick. I, I loved it. I actually. thought it was great. The music that they used in there, yes. the shops that they had, was mm -hmm. great. Like the little retro shop. Hey, it works. You just have to blow on it. We have an Atari 2600 game. You don't see these too many often no. in our boxes. That's a great label we've, condition. Uh, we've got a pretty decent library, so... And Batgammon, this is easy. I love Batgammon. I mean, do you really? I love Batgammon. You nerd. I know. It's <laughs> such a nerdy thing to love. I love Batgammon. Dude, it's a fun game. <laughs> nerd alert. This is super easy because, I mean, come on. Wisdom, Zelda, like this is totally in her court. Oh, yeah, right definitely. There. My parents had a Batgammon board game. It looked like an attache case. And they always traveled with it everywhere we went. And I loved the pieces because they were like a, like a hard plastic, like... It felt like like stones to me, and I would always this clink is, them together. This is seriously like the nerdiest thing. I never knew that you were so into. I can remember sitting by the poolside and watching my parents sit on lawn chairs playing backgammon while I was swimming in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on from backgammon, uh, Weapon Lord for Sega Genesis. There's and a beast on there. Are you already throwing this into yeah, the, the that's, Ganon that's camp? Ganon I, can. I think that makes sense. I believe this is a fighter. I think this is one of those ones that I constantly saw advertised in comic books. And I'm pretty sure I've played this, although nothing is coming to me right away. But that's fine because this is just voiceover and you guys get to see it. Okay, this might be a little trickier because a Game Boy Advance game, Need for Speed, teeny tiny, Writing. Seriously, what is this? That's a Navi game. Porsche Unleashed? A Navi game? Because it's little. Yeah. So, we'll just have to give it to Link then. I yeah. Guess. Actually, I tell you what. He loves to ride up Pono around really fast through Hyrule Field. Sure. Puts little bunny ears on. So, yeah, there we go. That, that totally works out. And then last. Oh, that's it. MRC. It's in a game. No, it is a game. For the 64. Ooh. <laughs> hey, it's already got an end label on it. It does. We don't nice. have to use one of ours now. <laughs> Nintendo 64. I'm not super familiar with Nintendo 64 stuff. Literally only about the system for Zelda games. <laughs> I mean, some of the racing games were fine. I think they still kind of hold up because it's racing. It's well, then it's probably another Link one then. February sauce. 
Two for Link, one Zelda, one Ganon. Boom. Fair enough. There's a month on here. That's that's the April one. So, all right. March. March. Oh. March. I can't pop that. Now you can pop that. I can pop this though. Yeah. Okay. So. For the uh the pack ends we got some stickers oh we got angel boy pit <laughs> speaking of angel boys oh another angel boy mario and i think you'll look <gasps> rob my favorite i love him i'm pretty good with him on smash brothers she actually is laser eyes no to the one rescue expects rob i know every time i would play and i pick rob people are like oh my god seriously and i first did it just because i liked rob because he was cute <laughs> but then i actually started getting really good with him so <laughs> We have another Game Boy Advance game coming at us. Hot Wheels All Out. So we, we stick into the... Uh... Sure, why not? Cars are for Link. Okay, I don't know anything about this one. I didn't play a whole lot of GBA games because of the handheld. And once He's the player came hands. out, I kind of forgot about it anyway. What was it that we were playing with a couple of people? Was that Hot Wheels Unleashed It was Hot Wheels, or something? yeah. That was a great idea for a game. It kind of failed, though, because the people that were making the tracks, they'd make, like, some really weird tracks yeah. that were, like... Impossible. Yes. Yeah, because they just wanted to see hard. how how hard of a track they could make, which does not make the game fun at so, all. Hopefully, maybe uh, an older entry in the yes. Hot Wheels line will be better. A Super Nintendo game. This is great. What the? Dungeon Master? Well, who's the master of a dungeon but Ganon? Ganon. Hey, this is lining up really well. But that dude's got a sword, and he's fighting a wizard with a move controller. I was thinking that it was like Retro Gamer Boy's wall of TVs, uh -huh. and everything's coming out. And Yeah, you got some dude and... with a discus back here and a, a flying snake. I have no idea what to expect with Dungeon Master. This 100% looks like the kind of game that I would have gone after, just on label art and name alone. Yeah. This will be great to check out. This would be one of those games that, because I always picked my games from the rental store based on the cover art and the back pictures. Mm -hmm. This probably would have been one of those. Okay, so last game for March. Marble Madness. Ooh, oh. oh. The Marble Madness games are madness-inducing. They're... They're fun until they're not. I think that pretty much sums it up. Is that Zelda? Uh, she's fun until she's not. Oh, then she becomes wow. chic and she's all like bossy and annoying. And then she's like, I'm the man. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Link. Yep. Is. Yep. Yes. Wait, did he trade places with. That is Zelda? Yeah. Sheik is Zelda? Yep. What? Yeah. Bro. No! Bro. That's such a crazy plot twist! Yeah. I think I've only once played this in an arcade that actually had like the marble oh, controller. That wasn't broken yet? And, yeah, <laughs> good call there. And it does work a lot better than trying to play this on a controller. So it does have the edge in the arcade in my opinion. Another one. For Zelda right now. Link's winning. Two boxes in. Yeah, Link has three By games. one. Zelda has two. Ganon has two. But, I mean, it's, it's a lot more balanced than I expected. So do Link's two little games add up to just one? <laughs> Probably. It's not the size. It's Kay. not the size. No fooling. The April box. No. Oh. Let me guess. You guys had way too much of this lying around? They're stepping up their packing game, apparently. Ooh, more bow wrap. Okay, so the last box didn't have any cards. This one does, another reminder. Ooh, and another, another one up. up. And we got some pins. Oh, nice. nice. Hey, hey that's that, great. That looks a little familiar. Oh, yeah. Hey, look. Retro yeah. AF. Retro AF. So when that my shirt's us. off, I can pierce my nipple and still represent. I'll let you do that. You'll let me pierce your nipple? Your nipples, not mine. <laughs> hey. Uh, hey. Hey. Hey, Arnold. Hey, Arnold. Uh, uh, wow. I, I have. Like no knowledge of Nicktoons. You didn't so. watch Nickelodeon. <laughs> this is Hey Arnold, the movie, the game. This 
since it says, hey, Arnold, I'm thinking Navi. Hey, so, look, listen. So another game for Link by proxy of Navi is what yes. you're saying. Yes. Okay, again, didn't play a lot of Game Boy Advance, but now that I have a player and can actually use an actual controller, I've been happy to be collecting some of these games. Mm -hmm. SpongeBob, SquarePants, Lights, Camera, Pants. Pants. He's taking his pants off because he's making a bad movie. I've seen that bad movie. It's oh. it's horrifying. Don't watch that bad movie. Especially uh, when the yellow paint rubs off. I at least know a little more about SpongeBob. I did watch a little bit of that with the kiddo. This almost seems like it needs its own pile to like go with Tingle because he's weird and SpongeBob's weird. So uh, I'm gonna just kind of throw that up in the air. <laughs> you tell us, kids at home watching. Yes, kids. Oh no. <laughs> Are you ready, kitties? Are you ready? Another Super Nintendo entry. Ooh, like The Lion King. King. Who wants to go to the monkey stage? Is that one on this one or just the Genesis? I can't remember. Peter yeah. would know. Because I remember he came over and he was like, I'll show you guys how to do the, the monkey thing. And then, of course, because we were watching, he kept messing up. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's your chance to come over and redeem yourself on the Super Nintendo one. Back in the day, Something I actually really liked were sometimes you would get games on a Super Nintendo and Genesis and they'd be vastly different from mm -hmm. one another. So you got one version of Batman Returns on Genesis and another version, superior version, on the Super Nintendo. My take. But uh, so I don't remember if the Lion King is one of those or if it is a port. You got the Lion King royalty for Zelda. She's. But you also have Scar, the bad guy, oh, who see, takes thinking... over and becomes the king. So, Ganon. I was thinking because of King just giving it to Ganon. Okay. So there you go. All right. So well, Last one. Last one of April. Oh, it's in we're a box. We're back. A dinosaur's tale. Every time I hear the words, we're back, I always follow it up with a dinosaur tale. But I don't think I've ever even seen the movie. First of all, no manual. Nope. Uh, they kind of cheaped out on the label. They did. Too, which, I mean, they They're like, he's the only one on that the would front, fit. <laughs> So this could be fun. Looking at the pictures on the back, it looks very, very colorful. Kind of in the same vein as like maybe Toy Story was. So maybe it will play a little bit like that, but not he's, as floaty. He's stepping on cars. Well, he's a dinosaur. <laughs> Aside from putting this in the camp of Beardo Dragons, where do you think this one would fall? This is another tricky one. Dinosaurs, we're back in time. Who travels back in time? I'm saying give it to Link. Okay, we'll give it to Link. So ultimately, this VGM, totally not brought to you by our sponsors, Tears of the Kingdom. No, they didn't sponsor <laughs> us, but they should. Looks like Link is the winner. Thanks to some help with Navi, he's got five games here, but three of them are Game Boy yeah. Advance games, so they're tiny, so they mm. may not even count. <laughs> All right, well, a lot of awesome classic plastic, three months, and did you guys notice we didn't even have any duplicates in here, which is very, very cool. Very good. I need to go put these in my list now, so hopefully the next month I won't get any duplicates. Exactly. And hopefully we won't take as long to open the boxes next time so new things comment subscribe like all of that jazz uh do you want to say your bit too yeah don't forget to like us on facebook twitter instagram and tiktok go over to t public because we've got pretty cool merchandise over there and hit us up on the retro refresh because it is a beautiful site and if we like it we nerd it are you trying nerd. to be geordie from star trek yes all he sees are toads oh i'm sorry data that's a lot Your of... Your Picard is in another starship. He does a lot of mushrooms, I guess. Oh. <laughs> I'm blind. <laughs> yeah. I'm blind nerd leads. Yes. Her daddy killed her. With a gun. And her mommy. Wow. After her mom filed for a restraining order. And they didn't give it to her. The more you know is do you nerd. Talking about... Ducky from the land before time. Yes. You know, he had surgery later on so he could see without his visor. And he had blue eyes. Nerd!